the school at Jackson Public School that ended up hosting one of the largest college fairs at, probably in the state. It was it was great. I even got pictures of it and Miss Jana Williams organized it, but we had all of the colleges that report here to our campus where our student had access to Tougaloo, Mississippi State, uh, colleges from Louisiana, college from Alabama, college from all over the southeastern region reported to our campus out on our football field and had what we had college day where all the schools from JPS came to our school and enrolled. And our school benefited from being the host of it that our students had their transcripts, and everything on hand in a file folder. When they went out there to go register, when the college said, hey, we are waiving uh, application fees, they were on it. When the college said, we're giving out free application waivers, all you have to do is this, we were on it. So we made sure that all of our students got their transcripts and at least applied for at least three schools at the beginning of the school year. One of the requirements that I had for them is that they had to apply that week or that day to at least three schools. Follow up with a follow up information from those three schools. Whatever school that they accept and they accept the scholarship from, that's why they're going to be doing the video. The video is going to, going to decide their three. So they did this alongside of when they did their, uh, uh, I think it was called a dream board or goal, uh, vision board. I'm sorry. So when they put together their vision board, that's when they picked out their three schools. Then those three schools were here, then they applied for them. If the school wasn't here at our college fair, we went online, started finding about virtual college tours because we were dealing with the pandemic, but also when were they having registration or what information we can find out about their school. And we went ahead and filled those applications out early on, the first two months of school. That's all we focused on. Uh, filling out college applications. A lot of uh, schools have made it accessible where the students could apply via the, or their, on mobile, their cell phone. on their cell phones. So a lot of them still use the idea of about having a QR code or also the uh, shared information. And a lot of colleges sit there and fill the application out with the students. It was hot outside um, on the field. So in the cafeteria, we had some students filling out applications paper applications inside of the cafeteria. So the councils were really good at organizing that, that if a student needed to sit down and fill out a paper application because they didn't have access, they could. Uh, and they would allow that for the other schools. But mainly uh, what they did was got, gather the information, find out what they had to deliver. But we filled out applications on the spot right there.